check, check. Hey, yo. Mandela effect. I think I seen a UFO. What, what? It's the Jimmy Jam Show. Mandela effect. I think I seen a UFO. Uh-huh. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. Conspiracy. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. It's the Jimmy Jam Show. What, what? I think I seen a UFO. What's going on guys? Your boy Jimmy Jam is back again. I know it's late as hell at night. Damn, there's a couple of you in here already. What's up, Scotty? Steve? How's everything going? I just got home chilling. I went and got me some food because I was half-ass starving to death. And uh, I figured I'd come up here since I ain't been up here in a few days. Check out some Mandela stuff. I see I pulled, since it was stuff I was checking out, I figured I'd pull up this one on stovetop stuffing. Um... I got a fucking red bar, man. I don't know what's going on with that. I just want to kick the TV over. What's up, Ronnie the Rat? I don't know. I was about to kick off this video. Check it out. Um, seeing what he's saying. Like, I guess there's some proof that it was... Uh, damn... Uh, stovetop. I mean, uh, Stofers. So, I'm assuming that's what this damn video is about. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I just had a little bit of time to kill... So I figured I'd jump up here. So, let's kick this video off. No music today. No music. On it. They go in there, they make stuff all What's going day on? Long. Yeah. What did your kids have for dinner last night? It was some chicken and, you know, noodly stuff. Burgers and, um... That stuff! It was like... Stuff. Not exactly total recall, but make them stovetop stuffing. You know that tempting smell that fills the house. Stovetop, they know what they're doing. Let them. Oh, uh, damn. Hold on, let me pop this chat out so I can see what you guys are saying. Um, damn, Scotty, you didn't lose your job, did you? Shredding paper, that's what you do, right? Shredder. Home alone tonight. You get my email, Jane. Where's Tina? Oh, damn, that sucks, man. Um, there's, there's a million jobs out there. Plus, you know, the thing about life, man, is you always got to find a job that you're happy doing. If it makes you happy and you can make a uh, living doing it, then that's uh, that's where it's at. Um, nobody wants to be miserable in a job. I watched this dude today that said he worked for Amazon, and he said if you work in the Amazon postal thing, you can't talk to anybody. Like, you can't talk to your coworkers. Like, you have to walk around this plant all day while you package these packages for 10-hour shifts and cannot talk to anybody. And he said the job was made to break you down and nobody could do it. It was crazy. And he said that, you know, uh, most of the people that work for Amazon were on welfare and because they don't play their employees much. But the dude is making 27, uh, I think it's like $270 million a day or something like that. He's the richest man in the world now is the guy from Amazon. I was like, holy shit. That's like, you know, and then he's paying his dudes, people, slave labor. No wonder Amazon is so cheap. I'm going to have to stop ordering from them. That's it, boycotting. <laughs> I was like, damn, they're slaving people like that and you can't even talk? I was like, damn. I wouldn't make it like 20 minutes at that job. I'd be like, I'd fuck it up the first day. I'd be like, hey, what's popping? You can't talk. Oh, fuck that. I quit. It'd be that fast. All right, let me go back to this video, Stovetop. Right? Not exactly total recall. Not exactly total recall. Not exactly total recall. Oh, every day for a hundred. What's up, Mr. Bean? Um. So no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. Well, Sunday morning. Or whatever it is, wherever you're at, wherever, what time it is. Um, guys, I'm going to Vegas on the 12th, okay? So you know how I've been saying I got this big-ass fear of flying? Like, I'm going to have to drug myself like, uh, you know, Mr. T off the A-team. And my homeboys are going to drag me on the plane. And we're going to Vegas, right, for uh, three days. So I will be in Vegas uh, the 12th, 13th, 14th. And I'm leaving the, on the 14th that night. So I'll be there three days. 
So it should be good times. I am going to try to stream some from when I'm in Vegas. So when I lose all my money and I commit suicide, <laughs> I'm just playing. I might need this number up here when the time I'm done losing all my money in Vegas, right? Um, but I'm going to go visit my sister. She lives in Vegas, so it, it should be good times. Now, I'm going to be nervous as shit getting on this plane because I ain't never flown anywhere. So uh, they might have to. Uh, we might have to hit the bar before we hit the plane because that's the only way they're probably going to get me on that bitch. Hell yeah, Raleigh was waiting, wanting you to meet him there. Well, Raleigh, when you watch the replay of this damn video, I will be in Vegas the 12th, 13th, 14th. Um, if you want to go gamble. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm staying at uh, some cheap-ass hotel the first night I'm there. And then the next two nights, we got a uh, penthouse at the MGM Grand. So, uh, it should be good times. Right? Because when we first get there, we got some running around and stuff to do. So, we didn't want to tie all the money up in the uh the big badass hotel so we're gonna stay in a cheapo the first night and then the next two nights we uh staying at the uh, mgm grand it should be good times i'm gonna uh live stream you know from the i don't know if they'll let me live stream from the casinos but uh shit i'll live stream from wherever the prostitutes are that's just as good years these people drive to a building that says stouffer's on it they go in there and they make stuffing all day long yeah you might even get some nice stuff back. Cool. Then watch their memories improve. Last night was stovetop and stuff. Stuff? Not exactly total recall. Who is we? What is going? Oh, man, I'm going with my boy, uh, the guy that does the Jimmy Jam song in the beginning. I'm going with him and uh, this promoter guy. does. Uh, he, he's actually, he works with uh, D.L. Hughley and shit like that. Um, but, yeah, he does promotion. He does, like, this company where he works with a bunch of celebrities he does uh he makes like apps for your phone like you know how you got the myspace app and i mean not myspace i might use myspace i just see that parallel mention shit gets you every time but like facebook and you know how restaurants have their app and you know how comedians will have apps and stuff like that well he designs these apps and these programs so you can uh sell them on phones like uh you know how you pull up your app store well he designs a lot of them applications and he does it for celebrities and uh, he's going, Rob, uh, the dude that does the song in the beginning, and me. All three of us, our birthdays fall within like three or four days apart. So uh, we're going out there just to celebrate our birthdays because all of them, you know. And it, it's almost the end of the summer and we ain't done nothing really fucking cool yet. So we were like, all right, look, you know, it was last minute. They're like, uh, we found some cheap plane tickets. We went online, got the suite. Um, so we were like, all right, it's, I guess it's on. Don't get no hoes in Vegas. Nah, because uh, I ain't got that type of money. I mean, I, I, I'm going to have a little bit of cash with me, but I ain't going to have a ton of cash like to be just, you know what I'm saying? So i got to be real, because uh, it's last minute. I didn't have time to like plan for it and save for it or nothing like that. So, uh, and my buddies threw it on me last minute. They were like, we were out bowling the other night, and they were like, Jimmy, uh, we're going to Vegas. We're going to leave the 12th. I was like, what do you mean we're going to Vegas? He's like, we are going to Vegas. <laughs> He's like, we already got the room. All you got to do is get your plane ticket. And uh, we're going. And I was like, I was like, dude, that, he said the 12th. I said, what, the 12th of September? He was like, no, the 12th of August. I was like, that shit's in two weeks. He's like, I know. Um, get your shit in order. We're going to Vegas. And I was like, oh, man, that don't give me a lot of time to save no money. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Scotty Bayo asked the system to be removed all external projections on you. Where that thought from Mr. Beans now. It's gonna be a we can use it to keep ourselves clean and strong. You have to pay them to leave you alone. Thanks, Bean. Ronnie the rat, you will hear the buzz when you do it. Means it's working. Okay, did I miss something? Remember, try snapping your fingers, you will the sun starts twitching, and then you will be able to sense real people. Huh, I, I must have missed something in that conversation. Make them stove top, because everything else is just stuff. And you, in your little kitchen in Ronkonkoma, are going to try to bang <laughs> out some stuffing that's going to top this? Where's Tina at, uh, Mr. Steve? <laughs> True, it's not working. Do the snapping and test it. What are we snapping? My ears here. 24-7 only get louder or so often at times. Are we talking about the ringing in the ears? Are we back on that? Do you want... Hold on. 
The Chihuahua wants on YouTube. She wants her 15 minutes. She just keeps jumping at me like, come on, man, let me on the channel. Let me on the channel. You're on here now. What? What? You want to talk? You want to talk to him? Want to say hey? Want to say hey? Say hey. That's YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Little Lolo wanted to say hey. She wasn't going to give up. We're we're uh, watching about stove top stuffers. We ain't eating none. All right, go. All right, back to the video. She's at a pajama party. Ain't she forty something? What forty year old goes to pajama parties? That's crazy. <laughs> That's what I need to throw as a big pajama party. That'd probably be pretty cool. Be weird, you know. Hey man, you wanna come to my pajama party? Be like hell nah. Then watch their memories improve. Then watch their memories improve. Then watch their memories improve. These people drive to a building that says Stouffer's on it. They go in there, they make stuffing all day long. Yeah. Hey, uh, for Thanksgiving, what's your uh, favorite? That'd be crazy to ask people, are you, uh, are you a real person? Are you part of a program? Now, if you ask me, I would say I'm a real person. I'm, I don't think I'm part of a program. Um, I don't know, but if I am, the program writer, writer made me good looking. I just, I just know that. He should have uh, just made everybody look like me. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> oh. Um, the stuffing. Well, is it like an all girls pajama party, Steve? Because you'd be a little weird if you was at an all girls pajama party. You know, you just a one dude over there with thirty pajama up women, painting fingernails and toenails and shit. They probably got a stripper. There's a stripper right now. <laughs> ah! No, I was playing, Steve. Don't panic. I used to hate it, but like three years ago, I became obsessed. <laughs> you put gravy on the stuffy and then you just... No, I just didn't do it straight. And it has to be like from the box, like Stouffer's. <laughs> and they do not pay me money. I'm not making any money off of saying this. I just love it. It has to be like from the box, like Stouffer's. It has to be like from the box, like Stouffer's. It has to be like from the box, like Stouffer's. I heard it the first time she said it, but since he wanted to repeat it multiple times. Like, you know, I don't know. I kind of remember it looking like that. I don't never remember. My only crazy thing is this. I wasn't sure if it was like what it was, company it was made by, but I know the box never said craft. I was like, I ain't never seen that. Okay, let's see. That's awesome, but weird. I don't think I feel right controlling someone else, but it's not real. It's not that. Not real. Steve, did you get pics I sent you of Sky last night? Have video too. Yeah, all them sexy thoughts. Yeah, uh, all them sexy. Yeah. I can't stand when they repeat five times. Food doesn't taste the same anymore. Food doesn't taste the same anymore. I don't know. I actually, uh, I went ghetto tonight and went to the 7 Eleven and bought me a sub. It's probably going to kill me. But you know, I sometimes you got to live on the edge. And take your chances, you know what I'm saying? Or starve to death. And I didn't really want to starve to death. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to eat this 7-Eleven sub. That's probably going to kill me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. The SpaceX shit is weird. SpaceX is fake. I hate, that shit is all fake. The missiles might be real, but they ain't going up into space and putting cars and shit up there. Most, uh, most things taste like styrofoam. 3D simulated hologram food. Okay, um, the food's holographic. That that's weird though, because you think about this is like if if we were in a like a a simulation, and you eat food. I mean, how do you explain that you can taste the food? Some food's good, some food's shitty. Is that part of the program that we're programmed to go? Oh, this food is good. This food is bad. Um, and like everybody's different too, you know, in the simulation, everybody's food preference is, you know, usually different. The rockets don't land on their own, no way. Yeah, that's trippy, you know, when the rockets go up and then they come back and land in the same spots. That's kind of uh, nuts. I, I mean, I, I can believe that they got some pretty cool rockets. I just can't believe that there's a car floating in space, you know, or, you know, above lower Earth orbit or any of that, you know. It just don't. And then when you seen the video, you know, you know what he said. Y'all know what he said. I ain't gonna repeat it. Looks so fake. Had to be real. That's fucking crazy. 
All right, let's see what's happening in the Mandela world today. Hold on, shit. Shit. All right, hold on. What did I do? What did I do? Um, I pulled up my videos. That ain't what I was trying to do. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see what I missed while I've been gone the last couple of days. Let's see. Today. Maybe assimilation within an assimilation type deal. Every time space and it's launches Air Force Base, I can see it from my house and the rockets don't go straight up. They go sideways. Same thing like when you watch the space shuttle launch, it would go up and turn sideways. I mean, I think the shortest path to be in outer space would be go straight up, but apparently I'm wrong. I don't know. I thought the same thing. Why don't they fly straight up? But when I watched a rocket launch from, I think it was Cape Canaveral, I could see it from my front yard. And I caught it just in time. I shared the story, and it was like a red glow shooting through the sky. And it wasn't going straight up. But what it did do, its trajectory looked like it went out, like it was going like this. And then it looked like it went up and just poof, was gone. I don't know if it like you know if it went into space or dudded out. I have no clue. But it's to when I looked at it, it looked like it was going. It was streaming across the sky sideways, and then it just went up. And that bitch was gone. And I mean, it was glowing. It was like so cool looking. The first time I ever seen like it was an intercontinental ballistic missile, and that was the first time I ever seen one launched. I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. Now, that way, if we ever get blown up and it's flying in, I'll know what the hell it is because I've seen one before. I'll be like, oh shit, we're gonna die. You know, Terminator style. Okay, Buzz Aldrin strange, strange loop. All right, let's check this out. Posted four hours ago um, by Recall Vector. You know, and by the way, guys, all videos we show here on Jams TV we use under the Fair Use Act for educational critiquing and uh, all that good type of shit. All uh, rights are uh, owned by their respective owners, um, so don't sue me. Because I'm trying to go to Vegas and I ain't got much money. YouTube. Non-monetized. I'm non-monetized too, guys. You both remember two things differently. So, so stuff are different, like, um, labeled brands. Like, um, Chris George. I remember he had a tail. I don't he doesn't remember. have a tail. I remember him without a tail. Or Cliff Bar. I remember 1F. I remember she remembers 2F. I remember Uncle Sam wore a red and white striped hat with blue and white stars. But now it's white. The red stripes are gone. I have now met seven that have always known the white hat and never seen red stripes before. I remember the large head statues of Easter Island. But now they're different and some have red hats. This painting is over 200 years old. Rodin's thinker is now eating a knuckle sandwich and looks insane. I recall fist to head, but many recall fist to chin. Bananas grew down towards the ground in my past, but now they're upside down. He said it all scary too. Now they're upside down. Dun dun dun. I'm thinking Jaws is coming or some shit, right? He's using the scary voice. That's what I'm gonna need to do my videos in, in a scary voice. And then there was one. The Mandela Fed. It changed my reality. I ain't even got a scary fucking voice. I just got a redneck, twangy ass voice. Um, I was born with it. Okay, let's see. I think he's from Georgia. Yes, I am. Um, Jimmy, where is your accent from? I am from Georgia. I live in Virginia, I, but I was born in Georgia. I spent the, like the first 10 years of my life in Georgia. So, you know, you're in the South. That's where you learn how to talk. And then you just can't get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never like Everybody thinks I'm from the country or fucking a hillbilly or something. I always lived in the city. I never lived in the country. Um, I've never been hunting in my life. I don't... Uh, I don't drink uh, Bush beer. Um, let's see. I don't watch NASCAR. 
I just sound country as hell, and it kind of throws people off because if you, you I ain't really that country. Um, and no, I didn't get your email because I haven't checked my emails yet today. Um, I came in, you know, from going to get something to eat, and uh, I just jumped up here live with you guys because I had a little bit of time to uh, kill. Past changes. World Trade Center three. Oh yeah, guys. If you hadn't done so yet. Um, give this video a like, you know, <laughs> like that shit, right? When I look back, I better see some likes. That's how I feel the love, right? That's how I feel y'all's love, y'all's energy, right? Y'all got to get that damn you know, like. Um, did someone really donate 150 to you, Jimmy? Yes, yes, somebody did. Raleigh always donates money. Um, it's actually, he's probably donated more than 150. Some of these people donated more than that, and I just ain't put it up there yet. Um, yeah, that's awesome of them. Uh, He's a little bit of a hellraiser sometimes, but a good guy. Um, yeah, yeah. Everybody that uh, matter of fact, let me let me run that out because that's my new thing. I threw that up there so everybody could see who supports the channel, and you know, because I like to thank you every day, and it's easy for me to remember it when I can just look and see who's done what, right? So Raleigh, ten minutes with Big Elvis, Steve and Tina, Martha, Sarah from Ohio, Little Addie, Michelle's opinion, um, King Ti, and there's some other people, guys. I still gotta add. Um, to that to that list, and I thank everybody that supports the channel. I love you guys, man. I love you guys, and uh, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> so Raleigh's gave over 150 bucks. It just says 150 bucks, but it's probably close to. He's probably gave, given the channel since the beginning, probably about 200 bucks, somewhere around there. Um. Jimmy, did Robbie Lawler win both fights against John Hendricks? Johnny Hendricks. I thought he did. Hold on, I don't know. I can't remember. I, I didn't know he fought him fucking twice, to be honest with you. What do you got, a uh, UFC Mandela effect? Um, I don't think uh, Johnny Hendricks ever beat Robbie Lawler. Um... I think Johnny Hendricks just retired, too. I don't think he's even a fighter anymore. I think he just, uh, I need money, donate to me. Um, well, yeah, shit, I need money, too. I'm about to go to Vegas, broke. That's how much fun I'm going to have down that bitch, broke. Now, I won't be broke, but I have a little bit of money, but I wish I had more and I had more time to save, but, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, only thing that makes sense when you stuck in a loop. Anybody, well, I think we should use our time in this place to better ourselves, like Phil did in Groundhog's Day. Yeah, man. Uh, if just if we are caught in a loop or something like that, and you know, like you know, if karma and all these Buddhist people are right that you know you're gonna have to do this until you you're good enough to it sin. Um, yeah, then you're just kind of kind of caught in a loop. I don't know, man. I hope not. I hope it's a one-shot deal. Um, I don't know if I want to uh, run this back. I kind of want to live forever, but I don't know if I want to run it back. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I want to do the same things I've done before in another parallel universe, you know, and that's why we get in this deja vu and shit. I don't know if I would really want to do that, you know, again, the same life. I mean, I've had a good life. I don't know if I would want to do it again, though. If I came back, right, say if I had to loop, loop back, I wish I could loop back at, you know, maybe something else and, do you know, have another life as, you know, whatever it be. I don't think I would want to come back just born again, another world, in another time, just Jimmy again um, and doing the same things just over and over. That would be sucky, man. Good Lord. I only saw destroyed. Four destroyed. Five destroyed. Six destroyed. Only the towers and building seven collapsed in my past. The rest had minor damage only. The Pentagon collapses one hour after impact. Yeah, that's the main thing. Try to be a good person, you know. Uh, I mean, that's all you really can do. But there's, so you're right. There, it is hard to be a good person. It's a lot easier to be a bad person. It's easy to be a bad person. It, it takes some work to be a good person. Well, for me, it does. Because uh, sometimes some bad instincts just want to come back and be like, I'll slap the shit out of you. But then I got to remember that, you know, I, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, and uh, 12 weeks of anger management work. Uh, I'm now, I think about shit like, are you worth going to jail over? Right? That's my first thought. When somebody runs their mouth or something like that, 
and I think about how long I've sat in jail. So I look at a person and I'm thinking, are you worth that time in jail? And if the answer is yes, I'm slapping the shit out of you, right? And I know that's wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know it's wrong. But if the answer in my head goes, yeah, this dude's worth this. And then I'm, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Um, so I try to stay away from situations where I put myself in that, uh, that thing. That's what I took from anger management, guys. If I learn anything, save your money, don't go to anger management. If I learn one thing out of that whole thing, it, it's like, don't put yourself in situations where you know you're going to be mad. If you know you go out and, and it's always a, something that makes you mad, stay away from that. And then you don't even have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? And I took that away from anger management. Like, I know if I go out drinking and I'm up in a club late at night and somebody might outside, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, right? So, I don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I go to clubs, but I, I change the environment up. You know what I'm saying? Where it ain't a place where people act crazy. Um, it's from me getting out of them ways of like I like little redneck dive bars and stuff like that. And then people start to drink. They start to get mouthy. And uh, I just always end in trouble. I end up in trouble like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know why everybody wants to talk shit to me in bars too. I guess because I'm a little dude. So they figure they can uh, they can say whatever they want to say. And uh, nobody's going to do nothing, right? But that ain't how I work. You know what I'm saying? I've been a little dude all my life. I ain't never fought a dude my size. I'm fucking only 5'7". So I, like, I don't get intimidated easy. So... Um, I, I know if I stay away from them situations, I, you know, I can't get in that trouble. But I recall a hold that resembled a missile strike. And now... Dude, you know, if Michael Jackson... I might have missed some stuff. Hold on, let me catch up. Moon, Soul, Trap, Deception, Bale. What do you think about you know, in his pink everything, honestly? Do you, I think... Uh, do I think Michael Jackson is really dead? It'd be really cool if Michael Jackson was alive because I'm a super big Michael Jackson fan. Okay, yeah, I think the same thing about the pink shit. Uh, I don't know what the, you know, what the, I don't know why everything's pink. You know what I'm saying? I, a lot of that shit he's saying is pink. I don't remember it being pink. Um, but when I went back and looked at some shit, it didn't look pink to me. Like, I've looked at different pictures of stuff, and I, I don't know where he's going with this this whole pink thing. I, I, I don't know. I wish he would have picked a better color, a little man-friendlier color. And I've seen some stuff today, guys. I don't know how real this is, and I don't know how many of y'all were in here the other night when I was talking about that, that them people talking about the uh, accepting pedophilia, right? Um, but they were talking about they were adding it... Uh, to the LB, LGB, A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever fucking letters they use for their, their to, for the gay lesbian community. They were talking about, I don't know if it was a hoax or something, but they said they were going to add something to their flag for pedophiles. So I was like, that's the craziest shit I ever heard. And I, was, I don't remember we were just talking about it the other night when we watched that video. And uh, I don't know what the world's coming to. In my reality, you, you know, you get... You get bad things happen to you for doing shit like that. But, that, like, people saying that we should accept it and it being all on the Internet as you should accept some shit like this. I, and I've been seeing it every day. I'm like, I don't know who's uh, in this multiverse of collective consciousness, whoever's thinking up that shit, but y'all need to stop, right? Get that shit out your mind. That's just completely fucking wrong on every level. And it, it would be one thing if I'd seen it one time and, I, I, you know, it was just that little speech we watched from that girl that was completely out of her mind. Or like, but it's just, it's like, I don't know, it's all over Facebook, right? And I'm thinking, this is nuts, man. And I mean, just think about people that read that and think it is okay. That's, that's, I don't know. It's just like push, look, it's like, let's push so much on people that they just let, think everything's okay, right? Let's take all morals out of everything. Like you ain't got to have morals or ethics or any of it. Just let's just take, strip it all away and it, it's just a fucking free for all. That's where our world is going, right? That's it's going to be just a big fucking free for all. You know, everybody believes something different. People gonna think they're fucking animals and all this weird, crazy stuff. And like I, I don't even want to be around to see it. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, the world, the world is changing fast. Like I get it, but I don't. It, it's just too much, man. Too much. It's too much. You're pushing on people and their kids and. They're, your beliefs and what's right and what's wrong and it's just like society knows this shit's wrong right we all know it's wrong and if, if the masses say it's wrong it's fucking wrong pretty much you know far as you know that type of stuff 
There's no way you can like accept anybody abusing a child. I'd never be able to do that. And these people that post this shit and make this stuff is like unbelievably to me. I don't even like talking about it. Current history shows that the tidy bowl man Pyro. has always been spelled T Y dash D dash B O L. Once a strong enough recall no longer matches the past, you will experience a recall anomaly paradox. Because we didn't go there. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. Uh, Mr. Bean, this world isn't real. Okay, well, this world that ain't real is fucked up with some weird shit. Like, it reminds me of the video with Patches, the little dude with the hair fucked up. And when the dude rides up, he said... Your hood's on some weird shit. That's how I feel like this this world is on now. We're on some weird shit, right? The whole w world I'm want weird, you know. It's 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 kind of crazy to me that I just I just don't get it, man. And I don't get how people can push this shit on people, right? Especially this whole thing about that, you know. It's like I don't know. <laughs> Go to jail, say that shit. That's all I can tell you. Go to jail and say some stuff that these people are posting and these chicks are talking about. Go to get in a, in a, a bullpen or in, anywhere in a jail and start talking about you think this stuff is all right. And watch what happens to you. You'll see how society don't accept it first fucking hand, right? Because somebody's going to lay hands on you quick. I just can't get it. after the International Space Station, once its mission is over, how do we ensure the presence of humans in space? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is that is much bigger than... Is that that bright-ass star I'm seeing in the sky? That's Mars? Because I've seen one that was sitting low as shit and bright as hell, and it won't the North Star. Is that Mars I'm seeing? One of my astrology people in here. Is that fucking Mars? I didn't even know. Like, I seen something, I was like, man, maybe that's a UFO. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Tina. I'm on my phone. All right, Steve, you lost me. Now you're Tina? I thought Tina was gone. I didn't think he was home, Tina. Is it Tina or Steve? Y'all confusing me now. Steve said Tina was gone. Now Steve's saying he's Tina. Take off Tina's clothes, Steve. It's weird, okay? You've been watching too much Hannibal Lecter. We are not putting lotion on shit, okay? Take your old lady's high heels off. We mean it. I don't know what the fuck it was in my pick. It was big as the moon, though. What? What? You gotta uh, text that to me, Ronnie the Rat. Text, shoot that on over to me. I gotta see that. Because I looked up at a star, and it was sitting real low to my, like, if I got my front door, let's say, it was to my left. I look up, it's, it's sitting low in the sky, um, bright as shit, like, br the brightest star in the sky. And I was like, I don't think that's the North Star. Um, but I don't know. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't, maybe it was Mars I was looking at. Light red. Yeah, it seemed to be a different color. Okay, I'm lost. It's Tina on my phone on his name. Oh, okay. Tina, you had a pajama party? How come I didn't get a damn invite to the pajama party? I feel mad about that. I'm disappointed. Um, just send me pictures. <laughs> just kidding. All right. What we have today and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to be to destinations beyond. Wait a minute. If Steve's in here under his name, and you're in here under his name, how is that possible? Can they do that? Can there be two Steves? I feel like y'all in different dimensions or something, and y'all just fucking with me. 
I'm at a friend's home. She's spying on me again. See what I mean? Like, this is confusing, guys. This is pretty confusing here. I don't know what Steve I'm talking to. We getting drunk. Okay. I'm assuming we means Tina because she's at a pajama party. Um. Okay. That's real confusing, guys. That's real confusing. Now you're messing with me, right? And I didn't drink a couple beers. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. It's tripping me out. I think two people can sign in on one account okay apparently they can I've never known that before that two people could be on one account like that but oh well so we, we okay so Steve and Tina's both here I got that I can come to the grips with that I can I can understand it now y'all in two places you're on his name but you're on your phone Tina if you're on your phone uh, why didn't you sign in under your name that's a little weird why'd you sign in as Steve on earth orbit right now we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? Ah, oh, my damn phone died. <laughs> That's not. I'll be right back. Hold on, guys. An eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that. Okay, wait. I gotta pause this. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I gotta plug this phone in, and uh, cause I can't see James's pictures. He just sent me a cut. My damn phone cut off, James. So let me plug my phone in, but I don't want to miss this video. Um, all right, well, look, I'll play the video so y'all ain't bored while I'm gone, but when I come back, I'm backing up because I want to see what he says. That's the way it happened, and, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Um, Money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people, in America and millions of people around the world. You know when we toured around the world after we came back? The most fascinating observation as we was signs All right, I gotta back this up. that said we did it. Not just us, not just America, but we uh, an eight year old with humans on right, board, I don't want to miss as this. well as uh, landers or other uh, components to be to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, damn, there's a bunch of y'all up late tonight. 14 people in the room, so I make sure I better have at least 14 likes or 14 dislikes. Damn it! All right, and I just I'm sorry I had to back it up, but I missed it. I want to see what he says. You in your pajamas, Steve? You want to see me or my friends? The buzz video is far out. I don't know if he's drunk or just talking in circles. I will later, but, uh, okay. Didn't figure out anyone. Okay, let me finish watching this about Buzz Aldrin here. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this Damn. new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And there we're we building go. these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Okay, that dude's on the ISS, right? And he says that we ain't never been uh, higher than lower Earth orbit. That one day, we might be able to go. All right, let me listen to uh, Buzz talk in circles. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not 
uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So, in the future, he did say we didn't go there, right? I did hear him correct. He told the little girl, "We didn't go there," or did I hear him wrong? Future, if we want to keep doing something. We need to know why something stopped. Okay, this is getting weird. Uh, take pictures of your friends for me, Tina. <laughs> Especially the ones in the hot pajamas. The little two-piece ones. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. In the past, we wanted to or keep am I? going. Uh, money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people in America, and millions of people around the world. Timmy, I'm not. You know, when we toured around the world after we came back, the most fascinating observation as we was signs that said, we did it. Not just us, not just America, but we, the world, different country. They felt like they were part of what we were able to do. And that made us feel very good. Mm. We didn't go there. We did it. Well, I, th I guess I thought I heard him right because he looks at the little girl and clearly says we didn't go to the moon. But he says when they came back and circled the earth, they went on a, a tour around the world and uh, had signs that said that you know they, that they did it everybody like the whole whole world's responsible for their lie no y'all lied you know what i'm saying they were the only liars in this whole picture is in this guy you know saying he walked on the moon it cheats little kids you know what i'm saying the next little kid the one little kid that's being born right now that might be the dude that walks on the moon um he's gonna always be like the 17th person you know what i'm saying he won't never really he really be the first dude and then he's had that title stripped from him you know what i'm saying I think it's kind of cheating. Cheating people. Okay, we'll ask the room. Okay, there's 13 people in here right now. Um, how many of y'all believe you are real people? Okay. That's a, I guess that's a decent question. Who believes that they're, they're a real person? Or or do you believe you're in a simulation? If you believe you're one a uh, real person... Uh, put the letter one in uh, just leave comment one. If you think you're in a simulation, hit two. All right, let's see. All right, one or two. One's real. You're a real person. Two, you're in a simulation. Now I'm gonna go with one. I believe I'm a real person. I believe I have a soul. Um, my soul is unique, and I don't believe I'm in a program. That's just my thought. Two. Think you you think you're in a simulation. See, Eva said one. Half. So we're half real, half simulation. There we go. I can go with that. I didn't give that option. Um, but uh or we're both. There we go. We can go with that. Um you're putting computer numbers in, is that code for the matrix? I'm a part of, of the whole. It's one and two both. Okay. Part simulation, part real. I am the creator. TL 1.2. Um, okay. So you believe you're real, but it could lean towards assimilation. We are real souls trapped in assimilation. I'm real. Just got a buzz. Okay, that must have been Tina right there. Because Steve said he was at home, so I'm assuming Steve ain't got no buzz. So that had to be Tina this time. Scotty believes this is assimilation. Peter says, one, he's real. Um... 
I believe I'm real. I believe I got a soul. I believe my soul is trapped in this vessel right here. That's super good looking and sexy. Um, I'm just trapped up in this body. Really, my soul is probably ugly, but I was blessed with a, a, a good vessel. You know what I'm saying? That's falling apart because my back fucking hurts every day. I think it has something to do with AIDS, though. Um, or I got scoliosis. I'm, I'm not com completely sure. Uh, <laughs> it's all connected. Um... Yeah, maybe so. Maybe, maybe you know, you always hear them people say we are all one. And I believe we're all one anyway, you know what I'm saying? And this, on this, you know, we're all brothers and sisters on this planet Earth. They're really, we're just Earthlings. And everybody's divided by walls and borders and shit like that. But we're all just the same. Um, okay, your vessel DNA is coded, coded to your soul. Oh, I must have a good looking damn soul then. Damn. I'm going to radiate when I come up out of this body. I'm going to be glowing. <laughs> I hope, hopefully green though, because I kind of like that color. Maybe like not like super bright neon green, but just a little bit of you know shimmer. You know when I'm coming up out this body, it would be it would be kind of cool and epic, right? Or you know I, I look like fucking Slimer from Ghostbusters. That'd be uh, even weirder. I don't know. Let me take you down, cause I'm going to All right, this sounds like a copyright violation right here. I don't know how you got past that one. No wonder it's not. Uh, <laughs> let's skip past this song. Um, okay, uh, everybody's back hurts. That's our soul trying to escape our body. Um, I don't know if my soul wants to escape. My soul wants to hang out for a little while, I think, you know, for a good bit. Now, if I get all old and crusty and I'm pissing on myself and stuff like that, then I, I think my soul would want to, like, you know, I don't think my soul wants to wear a baby diaper, so I don't want to grow, like, super old. Uh, but I want to live a good while. Now, if I could stay young forever, like we could find a fucking fountain of youth, and I could get me a couple glasses every now and then, I would be all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I could stay young, I would want to live forever. I just don't want to live life as like a, you know, a in a hover around or uh, not be able to get around or do anything and fucking feed me through a straw or nothing like that. I don't want to reach that age. But I see some old people. Like uh, I knew a lady that was 100 years old. And she looked pretty good. Like, I mean, she looked old as hell, of course, right? But she was in good health in, like, for a 100-year-old person, I thought. I was like, now nah, I could probably live life if I was, you know, and that, you know, could get around and do everything for myself. But be a 100, I probably could deal with living to a 100. But if I'm going to live a fucked up life, I, I, you know, I'd rather jump out the shell and figure out what goes on after that, take my chances. takes himself and takes us through a strange loop. Those that believe the NASA Telelight Vision miniseries was real are living in strawberry fields. All NASA images of Earth are CGI. This is admitted by NASA. It is CGI, There's though. No argument. The Hold on a minute. Let me grab my phone, guys. Photographs. It should have charged up a little take bit by now. Apollo astronauts, but we never went there. This call wasn't made from the White House in my past. That would be an honor. Uh, go ahead, Mr. President. This is here.
Okay. All right. I seen your picture, Steve. You sure that ain't the moon? It looked like the moon. So, uh, oh, I finally got my shirt. I bought this shirt at uh, Warp Tour. It's a D's Nuts shirt. I don't know if y'all ever heard of the band D's Nuts, but uh, it took me two weeks to get the shirt back out of my homeboy's car. I didn't think I was ever going to get it back. And I finally got my shirt. I was like, damn, because I was trying to get this shirt. I've been trying to see the band for a long time. So uh, I finally bought a shirt. And I was like, damn, I lost the shirt the first day. It took me like two weeks to get it back. But I finally got it. Um, it has a 40-ounce bottle on the back with like, uh, it says these nuts on the 40-ounce bottle. It's pretty cool. Moral story. All right, let's see what else is popping off in the Mandela world, people. All right, we've seen the stovetop stuff for shit. We seen Buzz Aldrin say he didn't go to the moon, tell the kid, which is weird. The entire Mandela effect. How can it be the entire Mandela effect? It's 59 second long video. Green, pink, yellow. I don't know. It's, it's a minute video. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about. Might be mind blowing. <laughs> I think some of these damn people are colorblind. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Stuff changing colors. Freedom of speech. I think those are uh, Mormon Steve. I am not consciousness experience and really. I am consciousness experience in reality. Um, now you sound like Jim Carrey, Tench. Uh, man got to work Monday. Me too, Steve. I got a, a view viewers to be 4:30 a.m. All right, let's see. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. D-Wave does. I mean, they, okay, politics, religion, slavery. Does it mean that they don't think they can come from somewhere else? TG. All right, let's see. Mandela effects. Dinosaurs are here, and it's alone. All right, we can go with Lone Eagle. I miss this guy. I ain't seen him in a long time, dude. I used to watch his live stuff all the time, and I guess my time frame's been a lot different than his, or maybe he ain't been doing too much live stuff. I don't know. I used to watch uh, Lone Eagle all the time, so let's check out his video. Dude's so majestic. I just want to smoke a peace pipe with him. I swear. Hold on. I'll be right back. Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle 112358. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. Over here. So, today we're going to talk about dinosaurs. Okay, we're going to start off with this bird right here, the cassowary. Now, this bird is native to northern Australia, Papua New Guinea, and the Indonesian islands. All right, so that says a lot right there. It's part of the new world that a lot of us are unfamiliar with. So, Bing. Now, I am calling this a Mandela effect, but I respect that other people, you know, have, you know, come across this animal, just like with the shoebill stork. Both of these animals have, uh, uh, are held in captivity, so that you could visit both of these animals in zoos. Um, so they are out there. Here's the other animal that we're going to be talking about, too. Um, this is the shoebill stork that a lot of people are familiar with. This one blew my mind when I saw this as a Mandela effect. I was like, ladies and gentlemen, um, dinosaurs? <laughs> a lot of people agreed that this was prehistoric looking and it did res does have a lot of correct... Uh, that is an ugly bird. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Don't make me whip your ass, Steve, says Steve. Okay. <laughs> Good. Then you have to go with the uh, Joseph Smith story, though. You can't believe that Joseph Smith story. That's crazy. He found the golden seals and only he could read them, never showed them to anybody. That Mormon shit is a cult. I'm here to tell you, it's a cult. Probably the biggest cult in America. Hold on a minute, it's getting a bad rap. You're going to be the first wife, Tina. I'm not married five. You will be soon. Firmament and Dome Prison Planet. Haas channel suspended. He got a strike. Who is Haas? Or Huss?
It looks like I am talking to myself. Yeah, y'all confusing as hell. Good thing I ain't drunk. Or I'd be all messed up. Matter of fact, I think I'm about to drink me a beer. I think Steven Tina's driving me to drink. Blah, a characteristics of a dinosaur. So, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at what we're seeing here today. So, let's go back to uh, this bird right here. Now, it's classified as a bird, okay? But there's a lot of people still... They're calling this a dinosaur. Um, it's a big topic. Bird or dinosaur. Why is that even a thing? Why is that even a topic? It's a bird, okay? There are no dinosaurs. They were wiped off the planet. Now, if you want to be somebody that... Okay, let me stop Lone Eagle. He just said that there's no dinosaurs. That dinosaurs were wiped off the planet. You're so wrong. There's sharks. There's alligators. There's uh, chickens, right? They are birds with reptile feet. There are still forms of all species were not wiped off the fucking planet. Maybe some of these fake dinosaurs that they find 10% of the bones and they create some shit might not exist anymore because it probably never existed in the first fucking place. But not only that is, uh, you know, you got elephants. They were dinosaurs. Alligators, crocodiles. Uh, I mean, we ain't got no pterodactyls and no shit, but did we ever have pterodactyls in the first place? We have species close to that. Big, huge bats and shit. I seen this bat today that had a, uh, I think they called it a, uh, a moose head bat. And the fucking head on his bat was like bigger than my head. I was going to make a Mandela effect video because I ain't never seen no shit like that in my reality. But, uh, it was this huge ass bat with like a moose head. Totally crazy. Look like some shit. I'm telling you, though, some of this uh, shit that we're finding on our planet, like these new species of animals and stuff we've never seen, you got to remember meteors and uh, comets, they're, they're hitting the planet, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, showering down on, on uh, space rocks and shit. And some of these uh, people have always been people. We're our own species of animal. You know, um, we are an animal, just like every other fucking animal on the planet. Um, we just an intelligent species of animal. Uh, but we were never monkey, you know. Um, I can't even climb a damn tree. So, but, and then you know, go back to the point is, uh, Lone Eagle got a strike. Yeah, he started to play videos and stuff too. Um, everybody goes up that alley. You know, it, it's when they, they start to, uh, you start to play stuff from big people. Or really big channels, or a lot of crazy music, or shit like that. And you look at it like this. Uh, when I first started, there wasn't a whole lot of people like really showing other people's videos and shit like that. Now there's a lot more of it. And with that, um, when you start trying to you know show cooler and cooler shit, you get to the point where you're going to show something and it's going to be copywritten. And then you're going to get the boot. And 90 days is a long time, too. So, uh, at J Snoop Dogg narrated Planet Earth. Check it out for a laugh. I am going to crash their pajama party. You better not. Steve, you're going to find the stripper. And you're going to be sad. You're going to be like, damn. Okay, John Lennon admitted he said he's seen a UFO. John, uh, John Lennon believed in UFOs. John Lennon was about to reveal the truth. John Lennon was also on a whole bunch of hallucinogenic drugs, but yeah, I mean, I believe UFOs are real. I've never had the chance to see one, and like, I talk about it all the time, but I was at the beach a little while back, nice clear night, sky, you know, see all the stars, and uh, I was like, let me sit here for a minute, just in case I see a UFO. Sat there, looked at the sky for a few minutes. Didn't see no UFO, got bored and said, fuck this. <laughs> but one day I'm hoping to get lucky. Or abduct it, that's my luck. First UFO I see will come down and beam a light on me and I'll be fucking gone. And they'll be like, we watched your YouTube channel. We had to come and get you. That's in line, and I agree with this, that turtles and alligators and 
small dinosaurs like that may have existed, then for sure, fine. They, they, um, they survived. Okay. Um, this video is tough to make because I, I, there's so much I want to talk about. So I wanted to just start off immediately with this bird it is definitely a Mandela effect. Um, we're going to take a look into the features of this bird. Um, there's just so much to say now. Um, if you watch video, he says the same thing to me. He repeated the narrative. LOL. I am going to bed. Which who's going to bed? Steve or Tina? Y'all confusing me again. Um, yeah, them copyright strikes ain't no joke. Here's my thing, guys. If you're a YouTube creator or whatever, or you want to re-upload one of my videos, I would never uh, put a copyright strike on anybody. Because this strike's coming from whoever had that video. So say we're in the Mandela community, and I show somebody's Mandela Effect video, and they get mad, and they and they want to you know hit a strike on it, um, then they would knock me off of YouTube for 90 days. Again, um, the thing is this, is uh, I think when people are showing your videos, it's, they're showing your videos because they're interested and they're trying to share, you know. I think it's important for people to share. I don't get why people would get mad. It's we're a community and all it is is people sharing videos within the community. But I get the whole, uh, like I did, I played some shit off network TV. I played that uh, psychic video that was off of network TV. And I was slipping. I, if I would have been paying attention, I would have realized. But I, I was new to it, so I didn't know I couldn't play that shit. Because um, I see people playing stuff up here all the time, I can't believe. But the difference is when you're streaming it, um, YouTube will give you a warning if you upload something. They'll be like, okay, well, you can't use this or you can't use that. But they don't give you no, they'll give you time to fix it or take it down or do whatever before they hit you with something. But when you're streaming, they just hit you with it. They give you a little warning that says, yo, stop streaming that shit. As soon as you miss it, which is hard because you really can't see it because I got it blocked on my TV actually too. If I was doing, but I know what videos I can play. Um, after a while, you you say, okay, well, you know, I've I, I had a long run at uh, before I got suspended, so I had a good idea of what I could play, like whose videos I could play, um, and most people don't care, you know. Um, but I stick to the same basic, um, you know, five, ten people. But sometimes I'll pull up a random video, and then people could be uh, assholes, you know what I'm saying? But usually. When you got small, that's what this is why I like small creators so much. Usually, small creators ain't copyrighted. Their head ain't so fucking big that they care. They're probably just more glad that more people are hearing and seeing them, and they don't care if you show their stuff. Where some people are like, oh, I can't believe this guy used my video. And, you know, it shouldn't be any of that. If Mandela people are sharing Mandela stuff and it, you, it belongs to you, you should just be good with it. Like, uh, and like I know E31, um, E Man. He got knocked down. Um, so, yeah. You just can't go just playing anything. You know what I'm saying? I know that. That's why I stick to, uh, you know. You know who I ain't seen make it?